Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and this is my prediction video uh, for the Super Bowl. So, pretty pretty darn awesome. Uh, so, of course, we got the Seahawks and the Broncos. Uh, I, for the longest time, actually was going to pick the Broncos. I already spoiled my pick in the last video. No, I, yeah, I spoiled it in my <laughs> Ultimate Team Update video. So, yeah, you already know I want the Seahawks to win. Um... I don't want. I want them to win, and I think they'll win. It's kind of a two-sided thing, right there. Um, but I was with the Broncos for the longest time. I was thinking Peyton Manning will his team to win, but I'm actually actually on that Seahawks. I'm gonna actually ha hop on those Seahawks. Um, I I think Richard Sherman shuts down. I don't think Demarius Thomas gets more than four catches on Richard Sherman. I don't think Richard. I don't think Demarius Thomas gets more than four catches total. I think he gets one when Richard Sherman's on him. Uh, and then the other wide receivers. I think Welker has a subpar game. Nothing too fancy because he's going to have Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor. Um, they're going to take double duty with dealing with Julius Thomas and Wes Welker, kind of with their stupid with with Welker's stupid. Um, not slant routes, but uh, what are they called? The not the the routes that are real not slants because slants go f down the field a lot more than oh that should have been pick I don't, I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about the route when you're on offense and you hot route and you Y and then you click the right stick down that one whatever that's called uh, I think the linebackers will take care of that Bobby Wagner will do his thing stop that. And uh, I, I just don't see the Broncos putting up many points. Get him, Bobby. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but I don't see the Broncos putting up points. You saw they had troubles with defenses this year. The the Chargers held them low both times, I think 24-20 and 20, or 24 twice. They held them, and the Chargers don't have a good defense. Richard Sherman, that interception, he's going to eat t tonight. Because this is going up. Okay, yeah. But he's going to eat. And uh, I'm going to feed the beast. I think Marshawn Lynch goes off. Not just because I have his collectible coin-up card or whatever. I could care less about that. Uh, but I actually do think he, he goes off. I'm, I'm predicting at least 100 yards and at least one touchdown. I, I don't think he'll have any problems with that. I think... That Broncos defense is awful against the run. The Patriots don't have a great running offense to begin with, so I don't really take that as anything special that they stop the Patriots running offense. Patriots are built to pass. If you look at it, like, hands down, they're built to pass. They're missing people to pass the ball to, but, I mean, I want to run. Stop it, game. Connect. Connect. A piece of crap. Thinks, it thinks what I'm talking <laughs> to my video is so I'm talking to it. Um, but I don't know. I just I could see the Bron if the if the Seahawks defense like doesn't show up. <laughs> that's pretty much the only way I see the Broncos winning. The Bronco the Seahawks defense is so dominant, so dominant. The Broncos offense is not that dominant. They've been stopped this season. The Colts stopped them for a majority of the game until they had that explosive second half. The Chargers stopped them twice. Um, New England's defense stopped them for a whole entire half um, in Foxborough. And they stopped them. They minimized. They, they did a decent job. The offense just was the problem in the conference championship. They did a good job. The Broncos offense is not invincible like some people are talking. The Seahawks defense isn't invincible by any means, but the Seahawks have a good offense and a good defense. The Broncos, I can't say have a good defense, is a decent defense. And some people think when I say a team's defense is decent, I'm talking like NFL decent, not like if I went out there and played offense against them. I'm talking like NFL defense. But uh, they're decent. Um, I'm not really sure what their stats say, but they are decent. They're not very good. Um, like <laughs> the Cowboys matchup they had, they are bad against quarterbacks. And Russell Wilson is an underrated quarterback, really underrated. He's not like a top five, top seven. He's top ten, I'd say. 
I'd say he's better than like Colin Kaepernick, Cam Newton. I think he's more intelligent than those guys. I think Cam Newton and Ka- Kaepernick have better athleticism, but I think I think Russell Wilson is a better quarterback. He's smarter. Uh, he makes more intelligent plays. He did, every quarterback throws interceptions. So don't, so don't give me that crap because I've had people be like, mm, he throws interceptions. Well, <laughs> Peyton Manning throws interceptions. Doesn't make him a bad quarterback. But yeah, we've got yeah. I put him top. Let me see here. Let me name him off. You got Manning, Brady, Rogers, Breeze. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing one of those great pocket passers. I put Rivers up there. Um, I'm having. I'm drawing blank. I'm drawing a blank on quarterbacks. Andrew Luck. I don't know. I I would take Russell Wilson over Andrew Luck uh, for Russell Wilson's scrambling ability, and I think he makes smarter decisions than Andrew Luck. I really do. I think he puts his team in a better position to win the game instead of Andrew Luck. Uh, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I was just trying to figure out where on the list he would go. He'd be 7, 8, definitely not 10. He's up there. He's up there because he's definitely better than, like, Oakland, Kansas. He's better than Alex Smith. He's better than Foles. He's better than, I don't know, Vikings, Buccaneers, Jets. He's better than all those guys, so he's... <laughs> He's he's up there. I'd say top eight. He's a top eight quarterback. Uh, but history tells you that when the best defense meets the best offense, the best defense wins. I think the only time it's ever happened was the '99 Rams uh, with Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk, which I actually have the pennant in my room for that Super Bowl. <coughs> I was uh, I grew up a Patriots and Rams fan. Uh, so I have a pennant of that because I really, I did like the Rams when I was younger, but kind of expanded my <laughs> team from that. Now I'm Patriots, Eagles type hybrid. Actually, I'm just Eagle. I'm just Patriots slash Michael Vick. That's pretty much the teams I like. Because <laughs> whatever team, because I, I was a diehard Atlanta Falcons fan when he was there. They went to jail, and then I was the Chargers were my second team with Tomlinson and Rivers. And then he, then it was kind of, it was kind of like simultaneous. He got out of jail and went to the Eagles and Tomlinson and Cromarty left the Chargers and that kind of, my love for them kind of fell out and I don't know why I'm taking so much time. But that, that's kind of what happened with that whole situation. <laughs> Cause I, oh crap, nope, nope, I thought he was doing a, I don't even know what that's called, but he was doing one of those routes, but obviously he didn't. But uh, I always have constant questions about my teams because I always talk about how I'm an Eagles fan. Well, I am, but really I'm a Patriots fan first. And I have been since I was four, as far back as I can remember. I was a Patriots fan first, and then I was a Eagle, or I was a Falcons fan, then an Eagles fan. I don't know, it's, confu- it's confusing. If anybody doesn't believe me, I have a giant ass. Tom Brady fat head, and I have a Michael Vick Atlanta Falcons fat head, and I have an autographed Michael Vick Virginia Tech full sized helmet. I have all this crap. I have an Antonio Cromartie autographed picture. I have a Ladanian Tomlinson giant ass fat head. I have all these fat heads of all the teams I like. I don't know why I would buy them if I didn't like the team. Oh, Golden Tate! Uh, it's overthrown. Uh, but yeah. If anybody doesn't believe me, I might actually show them on video one day. They're not set up. They're, like, rolled into their tubes because I have posters hanging in my room. I don't really have use for them until I, like, move out of my house. And So, yeah, but once again, to recap, I have the Seahawks winning. This was kind of a weird ranty video. Uh, what the heck? That was so weird. But um, to recap, I got the Seahawks winning by the score of... 31 to 21. Actually, 20. I'm going to go 31 20. I think Peyton Manning scores all the touchdowns. I think he uh, he gets three touchdowns. No, I'm going to go two touch. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. He gets two touchdowns, and the defense gets a pick, sets him up for one field goal, and he leads him down the drive for another field goal. And I think the Seahawks get 
Let's see here, I got 31. I think Richard Sherman gets a pick six. That's seven. Marshawn Lynch gets two touchdowns. That is 21. 21. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch gets two touchdowns. 21. Russell Wilson throws a 72-yard pass to Percy Harvin uh, for another touchdown. And Hauschka kicks a 51-yard field goal. Those are my predictions. I don't know. I just kind of... Those were weird. No! 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 He's in! No! I'll finish this drive. Uh, but I don't know. Broncos, I guess, I guess I can elaborate on those. I think Mac Prater hits a 41-yard field goal. Okay. And a 40... And a 39. I'm going to go short on one of them. And I think the Manning drive is a... Is a one completion to Demarius Thomas while he's on while Richard Sherman has him for sixty not sixty for eighteen yards for a touchdown, and I think the other one is a pass to Julius Thomas for twenty nine yards twenty nine yeah it sounds good twenty nine yards for a touchdown. I think Manning ends with three hundred and six yards. Russell Wilson ends with 208. Marshawn Lynch ends with 200 yards rushing. 200 yards? No. No, 130. 130 yards rushing. I don't think the Seahawks put up big numbers. I just think their defense forces some turnovers. They get set up good. They don't have to do a whole lot. The Sherman pick six. Huge. I'm not going to buy that collectible, even though I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, that's going to happen. Uh, Marshawn Lynch is going to kill so much clock with his 150 yards rushing. Because uh, the touchdowns are going to be like 2 and 3 yards. He's not going to bust one for like 70 yards. Oh, let's, let, nope. Nope, that's picked by... Oh, ooh, Dominique Rogers cromarty with the drop. With the drop. Um, let's see here. What else do I have insightful about this? I think uh, Peyton Manning gets sacked three times. These are just wild predictions now. I have no idea what I'm even... No, oh, get the corner, Turbin! Let's go! Touchdown! Okay, but I think Peyton Man gets sacked three times. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you guys uh, with a post-Super Bowl commentary. Maybe I'll get it up after the game, depending if I go to a party. Roads suck, so I don't know if I feel like driving to a party. Uh... So, yeah, that's a thing. So, if I go to a party, it'll be Monday. If I don't, it'll be t tonight, late tonight. So, I will catch you guys whenever that is. Peace out.